for third place on the podium. Here we go, Hines to lead in McBurney. Yeah, Hines looking to do exactly what he's been doing all day and get on that wide line. McBurney, they'll bring in the fight as they take it out to the outer extremities of the circuit, right out to the wall, and they stay there. All the standing water seems to be drying up as the track conditions look to improve, but McBurney makes a big dive onto the door of Alan Hines in the approach of the Academy S14. Now McBurney loses a bit of ground, but can he make the dive as they come into the tighter section? Not able to bring the fight too much. Alan Hines looking at, like he has the legs. Can he bring the gap? But now McBurney starts to bring it back. Now McBurney looks to close the gap and get in the door. They're wheel to wheel. Through the final sections. One last final attempt for McBurney to dive. Oh, wheel to wheel across the line and a straight from Hines. Yeah, Hines. To avoid heavy contact as they came towards the finish, but what a run from But Just sit back and enjoy it, Eddie. That's all you gotta do with Irish drifting now, is sit back and watch guys you didn't know who they were two years ago, now sit here at the top level, just wowing the audiences from across the world and on the live stream and here in attendance. That just makes you so proud to be Irish and so proud to see new guys coming through and putting it down every run. So they go back to the line, judges watching the replay, just see both drivers uh, scraping their rear bumpers off that wall as before they, took back into that tight section. This is where McBurney really starts to turn the screw and apply the pressure. And McBurney keeps himself in the hunt here and uh, a really solid lead line, but you can see that. Jumping and creeping and edging off the line. He wants this yeah, badly. He can't wait to get involved in this run. He can't wait to put it on the door of McBurney as the quarter panel of McBurney. Oh, contact as they scrape the wall, go door to door and keep in it. They keep the shoe in. McBurney in the lead. Alan Hines making the dive onto the door. They splash through the floods. Side by side as they come towards the grandstand wall. Tagging from McBurney. Hines right there with him, drops a wheel on the inside. Now switches it back and throws on the angle again and a big dive onto the door by Alan Hines once again. But McBurney feeling the pressure, feeling the heat but keeping in it. Hines is with him, they cross the line. Punches down, makes some noise. He plays here, what runs from both of these young competitors. Remember, just two years ago, both of these guys were in the Irish Amateur Series, starting off on their journey to superstar them. And I think today, there's no question, if you're watching on, that Mark McBurney and Alan Hines are the future of this sport. They put on that entertainment factor every single time. How they just get better and better as rounds go on. McBurney's in the top four for two rounds in a row here. After last year, someone saying he jumped up the order too quick, he wasn't ready for the pro class. Well, this year he's come back with a tiny little bit more power, and he looks like he is the real deal. I would be not surprised if he's going to jump into the top three positions or four positions in the championship after this round and fight it out for a top three finish in the championship. Incredible. Incredible stuff, and Heinz again getting valuable points in the chat. On the podium, Kieran says nobody, Kevin says nobody. We're going one more time. One more time between McBurney and Heinz is called. Alan Heinz looking to gun it from the line. He is ready, he's pumped up. What can McBurney do in the chase position? Here we go. Third and fourth place is about to be decided. Heinz leads in McBurney. Hines tags the wall, but Bernie tags the wall, but Hines starts to pull a little bit of a gap here. Can McBurney close it down? Can he get back on the door? He's certainly looking to do so. As he starts to turn the screw, makes the dive, but watches a little bit wide. And he's losing ground on Alan Hines. It's an all falling apart here for McBurney. As Alan Hines takes it to the wall, now McBurney makes the dive again. He goes door to door. Wheel on wheel action. One more dive down the inside, straight onto the rear quarter of that S14. A perfect transition from Mark McBurney. As he does everything in his power to try and force an error from Alan Hines. As they Drivers at it again, Dave. Yeah, impressive stuff. And you can see Alan Hines pulling the gap from the start. Almost losing our cameraman there. He came in so fast that far. He tags the wall, McBurney tags the wall. But it just seems like McBurney can't get back in the fight. But Alan... Uh, you know what I mean? Not really cutting the track either. And again, both guys trying so hard just to find an area to beat the other. Yeah, McBurney going very aggressive there, just washing wide, keeping that wheel on the circuit, Dave. But from there, having to really battle very hard to try and get back into this one. You can see again, just making those big dives to try and gain this proximity. And, uh, you know, keeping on that wide line as well. All credit to him. Gets back in without cutting the circuit. And uh, you can see here an absolute display of perfect 
tra chase driving and I see transitions and Alan just a little bit straight maybe cross wipers obviously a lot of water and spray will be going up onto the windscreen so here we go final time contact down the straight contact down the straight bumper to bumper but they stay in it McBurney takes it to the wall but Alan Hines is right there with him glued to the rear end of the 180 SX, SX of Mark McBurney as they throw it down the inside switching it back and again side by side as they transition Alan Hines is right there jumps down the inside rubbing wheels rubbing doors rubbing bumpers rubbing walls and McBurney now pulls out of the hairpin Hines on an inside line trying to look at the transition from Hines there wasn't a millimeter in it and he did not make contact Hines now once again with the transition that it might just be the X Factor that might just get him that trophy incredible stuff from both drivers that is what it's all the results are coming in who's taking third step on the podium will it be McBurney will it be Hines one vote for Alan Hines two votes Alan Hines takes third place on the podium he cannot believe it third place on the podium at his first ever pro finals and Alan Hines